Here we're going to look at our purchased inventory account. And we really have two different methods of uh, where we assign our purchase inventory. The first method here would be to uh, any purchases we'd increase our inventory directly as an asset on the balance sheet. So as we make a sale here, say on accounts receivable, a sale of $1,000, we'd credit or increase our sales revenue account and then for the inventory that was involved in that sales we would reduce the inventory by let's say six hundred dollars here and transfer it directly to cost of goods sold on the income statement which is the, sale, is the expense for those sales. Okay, The second method for accounting for our purchased inventory would be to record it directly to a purchased inventory account on the income statement. Now this would be an expense account. So we would accumulate our purchases for the uh, period for the uh, sales that we uh, recorded and then we take those purchased inventory and close them to a cost of goods sold account which would be again accu uh, an accumulated amount of the purchased inventory and that would Char be charged against our sales revenue for the sales made that period. Okay. The first method that we're going to look at is recording our purchases directly to an inventory account which is an asset on the balance sheet. So let's just say on account we purchase thirty thousand dollars worth of inventory. So we increase our accounts payable by thirty thousand dollars and then we increase our inventory here by thirty thousand dollars. Debit inventory increase it by thirty thousand dollars. Say for example we return five hundred dollars worth of inventory as a purchased allowance, purchase return and allowance here. So we reduce our accounts payable by five hundred dollars and then we go and we re also reduce our inventory here by five hundred credit. Inventory reduce it by five hundred dollars for the purchase return and allowance. Okay, now we go up here and we are going to take a purchase discount. So let's assume we were going to pay $1,000 on our uh, per accounts payable here. So we reduce accounts payable by $1,000 and then we take our purchase discount. So let's say it was a 2% discount. So we would decrease our inventory account here by $20 and then the balancing entry would here would be to cash where we paid cash or we reduced cash by nine hundred eighty dollars. So we owed a thousand dollars and we ended up paying nine hundred eighty dollars and that's because twenty dollars less because we received the purchase discount. Let's look at our second method for recording purchased inventory. So here we would charge a purchase's expense account directly to the income statement. So this purchase's account would be accumulated for uh, the sales that we made during that period and then at the end of the period the purchase's account gets closed out to cost of goods sold which is uh, an expense for those sales. So let's go over here and make a uh, uh, purchase here of thirty thousand dollars on account. So we increase accounts payable by thirty thousand dollars and then we go and debit or increase our purchases account here by thirty thousand dollars. Say we had a purchase return and allowance or return five hundred dollars worth of material. So we reduce our accounts payable by five hundred dollars and then we would go and increase our purchase return and allowance here by five hundred dollars. Now this purchase return and allowance is a contra expense account for purchases. So an increase in the purchase return allowance would reduce our purchases expense by that amount. Say we've gone here and we had a uh, purchase discount that is say for example we're going to pay a thousand dollars against their accounts payable so we would debit or decrease accounts payable by a thousand dollars and then we'd go and take our purchase discount here. Say we had a 2% discount. So we would increase our purchase discount here by $20, which is also a contra expense account to purchases. So the purchase discount and increase in purchase discount reduces our purchases here. So we, we're essentially reducing our expense. Now the balance entry to purchase discounts would be to cash here. So we would pay out $980 in cash. The $1,000 that we were going to owe here 
reduced by a purchase discount of $20. So we got a $980 cash that we paid on $1,000 we own, owed. Now, finally, let's just look here at, uh, we had a transportation in cost on this inventory that we purchased. So we would decrease cash by $200, and then we'd go and increase our expense on transportation in by $200, which is also ex expense that would get accumulated in the cost of goods sold. So just to review here, we recorded our purchases of for the inventory that we sold for that period directly to an expense account under purchases. And then we had um, a purchase return and allowance was a contra expense account which reduces our purchase expense account and also a purchase discount uh, here of merchandise in this case uh, which is also a contra expense account the purchases and it reduces our purchases expense and then our purchases for the period that for the sales we made gets close to cost of goods sold and then the cost of goods sold reduces our sales revenue for the period. So here we looked at our two different methods for recording purchases. One of them was directly to the inventory account on the, as an asset on the balance sheet and the other was directly to a purchases expense account uh, on the income statement which got close to cost of goods sold at the end of the period for the, uh, for the sales revenue made. So that's just an overview of our purchases account.